Good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you all doing today? This is Brother Tyrone, your Global International Kingdom reporter on the sixth day of August of 2019. I just want to thank each and every one of you that has been following that has been following my journey of all with me with, with me being here in New York, me being here in New York City, going to all going to all of the places and all of and to all of the areas of where of where I grew up grew up at and folks that I have known. Now I'm here, I'm here in the Bronx right now. I'm here in the Boogie Down Bronx as everyone call as everyone has called. And just this past Sunday I was over at the Old Timers Day over at over at 23 Park in the South Bronx, right around the corner of where my grandmother lived. And while I was there I had ran I had ran into I ran into some folks that whom I had not seen in a long time. And let me tell you, it was also a reunion as well also too, because not only that, I was supposed to be at another Old Timers Day on that same Sunday. But this one that I had this one that I had went to, it kept it had kept me there from going to the other one. You can very much say God said you're going to stay, you're gonna stay here for this one instead. And which I did, and which I did. And I had got to see some folks whom I haven't seen in a long time, and also some and also some performers as well also too but where i am at right now i'm right by i am right by a bridge and a freeway right here right here in right here in the bronx right now and what i'm about to show you and tell you as well or as well also too and for some of you out there for some of you out there that love old school as much as i do because i am a total old school fanatic and most of and you all believe me you all you all know that hold on one sec hold on um hold on one second give me one minute give me just a give me just a few minutes while i um while i tag somebody right now just just give me a few just give me a few minutes so i'm because i need to tag because i have to tag somebody and then after that then after that we here we go here we go, all right. All right, just please, just please bear with me. Because we're almost, because we're almost there. All right, yeah, but this, yeah, this is truly, this is truly, truly, this is truly the day what the Lord has made today. And I had got a weather alert saying that there was going to be a flood in this area, but I have not seen nothing or heard anything or heard anything about it. Just a second. All right. Almost there, y'all. Almost there. Almost there. All right. Almost there. All right. Okay. All right. Now. Where I'm at right now, like I said, I'm right. I'm over here in the Bronx, right now. Now I'm going to show. Now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something, and it holds very and it holds very close and very dear to my heart of what I'm about to explain to you right now. This address right here. This is 1520. This is 1520 Sedgwick Avenue. And what is now? What have now? You're going to ask me. What is it? What is it about? What is it about? 1520 Sedgwick Avenue. What is this so? What is it so special? Um, what is this so special about it? Well, what is special about 1520 Sedgwick Avenue? Because on August 11th, 1973, in the rec room, in the recreation room, right in here, a very famous DJ. His name is D, his name is DJ Cool Herc. He have he have put on. A back, a back to school, a back to school gathering in the recreation room. Now, keep in mind, back in those days, okay, we did not have no smartphone, we did not have no Facebook, we did not have none of the social media of what we have right now. Everything was all done the old-fashioned way. How did everyone know about this? Is they would print every all the information was the invitation was printed up on index cards. That's right, you heard me on index cards. So everyone all came over here 
to the, to right here, 1520 Sedgwick Avenue, to the recreation room, and I believe it was it was a quarter back then. This is August 11th, 9, August 11th, 1973. Please keep that in mind. And what took place right in here, right in that right in that recreation room, is a sound that is a sound that just completely, completely changed music for changed music forever. DJ Cool Herc would take certain song, would just take certain songs and just mix them and just mixes and mixes them up and making them a little bit more making them a bit more longer than you know than what you have heard. But like I said, please keep like I said, please keep in mind this is August this is August 11th, 1973 over here. Please keep that in mind, okay? And what Cool, what cool Herc had did would just would totally 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 change the just change the music change the music scene forever and just and just forever period just forever period and that sound that we all know what we all now listen that we are now listening to today is hip-hop and yes that's that's right you heard me say first because when when i run, when i run into folks when they tell me about old when they tell me about old school rap the first thing that comes the first thing that comes in their mind is is run dmc my adidas but this past sunday when i was at the old when i was at the old timers day i had a brother who was not only here but what but was also part of that movement at the time had fully fully broke it down to me of the origin and the start and the start of hip hop it got started right here right here in the south bronx right here in the south bronx of where i of where i am standing at right now 1520 sedgwick avenue and over the year and and over the years but some some couple of come couple of years later right after what cool herc has started here with the two with the two turntables and and make and the and the albums and the records as well also too that grew that came from out of from out of this recreation room to all to mo to all of the parks out in the out here in the five boroughs especially especially in the bronx in particular by 23 park because what i always have remembered is i would go to them and i also had went to my first one i believe at around 10 or 11 years old yes i still yes i still do remember that i still do remember that and i was just and i was just standing there just standing there just watching and just listening to what these djs was doing at that time now like i said this is something this is something totally different, something totally different, and something new that we, you know, something new that that, that we had never ever heard before. Pioneers such as um, not just Cool Herc, Grandmaster, Grandmaster Cass, whom I had saw this past Sunday at the Old Timers, and even Africa Bambada, but he came a little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit later on. I'm talking about, I'm talking about going for, going way further back, 73. 74, you know, before before 19, before 1980, before 1980 in this case, and before Rappers Delight, Sugar Hill Gang, okay? And like I said, what came, what was born, what was born out of this recreation room at 1520 Sedgwick Avenue would go into the would go into the parks all over all over in the city, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Bronx, you name it. But it was mainly, it was really just mainly in the Bronx and also it got spread out into into Manhattan as well also too and like I said this was a sound that no one this was a sound that no one and nobody has ever has ever never ever heard before even I even I myself I had never heard any I had never heard anything like it as well also too after listening to it after listening to it for the um, not li listening and hearing it for and hearing it for the very first time. Now, one thing that I do want to make that I am going to make absolutely clear about this, and you can um, and you can debate you can debate on it whatever you want, but I'm telling you the real deal and telling you the real lowdown. Everybody have all everybody all says and all say and I read about it and I and I see it all the time that they all that they all say. That rapper's delight, the Sugar Hill Gang, was the first rap record. Well, I'm here to tell you all and to let you know that is not it. That is not the case here. The first national rap rec, the first national rap song that came out was in March of 1979. And who is that group? I am talking about the Fatback Band with a song, 
with a song called King Tim the Third Personality Jock. Now I remember that so well because I was over at my Aunt Mary's house when she was living over on Am living on Anderson Avenue, which not too far where I'm standing at right now. And they broke, they actually broke that song on WBLS. I remember it also, I remember it all so well. I remember it all so well. They broke that song on WBLS and it was totally, it was totally, it was totally anything, anything like I'd never ever heard before, even I myself at the time as well also too. But King Tim the Third by the Fatback Band was the first official, official rap song that came out. Then of course months month late months later on, you have you got rappers, you have Rappers Delight by the by the Sugar Hill Gang. And I just wanted to get that, I just wanted to get that clear to everyone and to everyone. Yes, Aaron, 1973 is where it was, is where it was all started. And, and not only that, Aaron, not only there is so much heritage here, but my I myself, along with my aunt met my aunt and my cousins, we was all here at that time when all of this was going on. So you can very much say, I'm a part of this history, I'm a part of this heritage, because like I had said on Sunday, I had lived on Forest Avenue, right around the corner from my grandmother. While all of this was going on and taking place, I was there. We was all there. I can I cannot begin to tell you, cannot even begin to tell you of how many times of how many times I have went I have went to the I have went to all of the jams in the park. All of them, I'm telling you. And and for it to be and, and for it to be of where it of where it is right now at the of, at the level where where it is right now, that's why I am over here to letting all of you know and letting everybody know this was shared by another brother who shared a bit of history on me. It got all got started right here, right here in the South Bronx, 1520 Sedgwick Avenue, August 11th, 1973. Almost go almost going 50 almost going 50 years right now. And one of the brothers that even also blessed me, he also blessed me with the VI with um with not one but two, but yeah, with two VIP VIP tickets of the 46th annual first hip hop awards that is going to be taking place this weekend, in which I may be attending. I may be attending, and because um, you know, because you know, with so much love, you know, that I have always had for it. And I'm gonna tell you this: when I do listen, when I do hear some of that, of what of what Cool Herc has done, Grandmaster Cass, and I'll throw in there even Grandmaster Flash as well, also too. It all it all just takes me back to that time in my life. It takes me back to that. It takes me back to that special day. And these are all happy times, and these are all happy memories for me as well, also too. Because like I said. I'm a part of this, yes I am a part of this history, and I am also a part of this legacy as well also too. So any one of you out there that will try to challenge me, that will try to challenge and get at me, that, that you know old school rap and that you only know about through Run DMC and my Adidas, that is not the case. I'm sorry to say, from the words of the song by Aretha Franklin, ain't no way. Ain't no way or anything. All got started right. All got started right here. And I also got something else to show you also too. This corner was also designated as hip as Hip Hop Boulevard as well also too. Sedgwick Avenue Hip Hop Boulevard. This was this was declared, you know, this was declared a few a few years ago. I believe five, I believe five years ago. If, if I got it, if if I you know just correct me if I'm wrong. But it was all this was designated. As, as Hip Hop Boulevard, and also designated as the birth as the birthplace of hip hop, right here at right here at 1520 Sedgwick Avenue. So for all of you, for all of you out there that does that did not know about it, I'm telling you right now, and I'm telling you the real deal because, like I said, you're also speaking, you're also talking and speaking with someone, you're also speaking with someone that has also that has also been here, and that also and that has also experienced it as well also too hello brother tony how how are you doing and yes tony and yes brother tony yes the yes the funky four the funky four plus one but it was also it was also before before sugar hill before uh, before sugar hill 
as well, as well also too. And I also want to make the case as well also too that the Funky Four Plus One was also the very, very, very first rap group to appear on Saturday Night Live. That was back in 1981, and that is when singer, that's when singer Blondie, that's when she had introduced them at the time. They were the first and the first rap group, the very first Funky Four Plus One to appear. On, the, on Saturday Night Live, and that, and that, my brothers and sisters, that was back in 1981, and yes, I have seen it, and yes, I had checked, and yes, I'm sure, yes, and I know everyone and everybody had all checked it out. And yes, Brother Tony, this is real, this is real hip-hop roots, and real, and real hip-hop history, and like I said, I, I was just so, I was just so, excuse me, ooh, get, almost getting teared up a bit. I was just so, I'm just so blessed and just so glad, you know, to be, to be going to Old Timers Day on Sat, on Sunday, to meet with everyone and to be with everyone. If you have, so, if you have followed my coverage and followed my videos and saw the pictures of who I was, of who I was with, these are folks who I have known for so many years and whom I have not seen in a long, long time. And that right there, that just goes, that just not only goes way beyond special for me but it's also it is also it's also priceless as well also too hey brother josh how are you doing let me i'm gonna do my quick shout outs to each and every one you one of you that's watching hello sister laura how you doing hello alice how are you and of course brother aaron brother jason sister sylvia hey brother tony hope all is good and all is well and brother victor aka v mac of fontana Gilbert and brother and also brother Richard and also brother Richard Ayala and for those of you that is, that is watching that is watching right now I am right here I'm over here at 1520 Sedgwick Avenue the birthplace of hip hop on August 11th 1973 is when it got is when it had got started over here and yes to, and yes brother Tony yes brother Tony Bismarcky he is legendary as well and I did and I had managed to get managed to get a picture with him as well also too and also with another performer his name his name is busy b if you don't know tony if you don't know who busy b is or anything all i can just say is all i can just say to you is this google it look him up because he did a song called he did a song called suicide in which what you had heard this past sunday as well also too so so there you have it. there you got it right there there you have it right there Sharing a bit, sharing a bit, a bit of brief history and a brief knowledge of the or of the origins of the origins of hip hop, and and I also have to tell you also too, all day tomorrow, all day tomorrow, I'm going to, I'm also going to be on my stomping ground of where I was born and raised, and that's in Har and that's in Harlem because I'm going to be going to not one but two events at the world famous Apollo Theater tomorrow. So you you definitely definitely want to stay tuned for that. There may be some coverage and may not. But do stay, but do stay tuned. Do do stay tuned right there. And I'm gonna be. It's gonna be Harlem all day tomorrow. I probably won't be going. I probably won't be going nowhere else or nothing. Or anything. It's gonna be Harlem all day tomorrow. Going to where where I had lived at, where my grandmother lived, where my aunts and where my family had lived. So you do def you definitely you do want to definitely stay tuned and keep your eyes and your ears peeled of what you're going of what you will see and what you will listen hello brother martin how are you doing today and yes brother and yes brother tony busy b he is also a legend as well also too and even us and even dj hollywood god rest god rest his soul and also oh, oh tony don't also don't don't forget also don't forget the world famous kid capri Kid Capri, don't forget, don't forget about him as well, also too. Another le another, another legend as well, also too. The famous kid, the fit, the famous Kid Capri. Now I know, Tony, I know, look, brother, I know that you're all about hip hop, but you know what? When I come back, when I come back up to New York, when I take another vacation up here, I'm going to have to bring you with me. I'm going to have to bring you with me. So I can bring, so I can bring you over here to 15 Sedgwick Avenue. So you too, so you too, can you can feel, can feel, and listen to, uh, and listen to the history. Now I have to do say this also too. I know a lot of folks. I know with me coming here, they all were probably expecting me to go. Um, they all probably expected me to go 
to the tourist to the tourist spots or something that was not the case being here because I go to places where no tourist where no tourist would probably would take you or show you or tell you to that's why you have the kingdom reporter such as myself that goes that goes to these spots that goes to these places and bring and just bring them to you as well also and um, yet yeah, to yet yeah, Tony listen I wish you was up here now to be my to be my guest for this Saturday for the 46 for the um, for the 46 annual hip hop awards that th that's going to be taking place on Saturday I almost said Sunday it's going to be this Saturday but I wish I wish that you I wish that you could be here so you can meet so you can meet some of these legends so you can get to meet them hoes so you can get to meet them brother Tony and um, you know just just to show your love and appreciation because we because we have to preserve we have to preserve you know. The hip hop now, you know, we have we have to, you know, which we all it's all being preserved, you know, and also also for the also for the next for the next generation as well also too. And yes, one day, one day, yeah, like I said, one day, because um this is not my first and last time, you know, coming to New York. Don't get me wrong. I will be coming back here. I will be coming back here from time to from time to time. From time to time. And also from, um, and also from, um, okay, hold on, somebody, somebody's trying to come on. And also from, um, from time to time, I will be coming back here in New York because this is my home. This is where I was born. This is where I was raised. And this is where my story begins. Right here in the Bronx. Coming from Harlem and living up here and living up here in the Bronx as well also too. So I am truly, truly, truly truly more than privileged and truly more than blessed than to be here and to let all and to let all of you know of the real of the real history of the real history of hip hop and of the real history that got start that got started right here that got started right here in the Bronx right here and now and like I said just remember August 11th 1973 is the day that all of us and I do mean all of us including me will remember because that was the day right there that day that completely changed music forever completely changed music forever and remember as big says if you don't know now you know this is brother tyrone your global international kingdom reporter coming to you live from 1520 sedgwick avenue here in the south boogie down bronx right here and now if no one hasn't told you that they don't love you today, remember that I do, and so does the Lord. And I will leave you with this. May, may, you, li may you live to be a hundred and me one hundred but minus a day. So I will never know that nice people like you have passed away. And to all of the, and all of the hip hop performers whom I had grown up listening to, and even their DJs as well, keep on doing what you're doing. And for those that has passed on, for those that have passed on, rest in peace. God, rest in peace. Sleep in peace and sleep in heaven, each and every one of you. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna go meet, listen to some listen to some right now. And yes, brother, yes, brother Tony, I'm so glad, brother Tony, I'm also so glad that I shared that I shared this with you because, like I said, this is the legacy of it. This is the legacy of hip hop. This is the legacy of 1520 Sedgwick Avenue. Take care of yourself. Where will the kingdom? Where will the kingdom reporter will be at today? Two words. Stay tuned. That's all I have to say. Stay tuned. Take care of yourself. Have a very, very, very blessed day. And remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. <laughs>